How are you doing today guys? Welcome to another episode of TR Performance. Today what we're going to go ahead and do is finish up the kitchen on the back. If we have time, I'm going to try and uh, go ahead and get the aluminum stripping on the sides to go ahead and waterproof everything and get ready to paint. All right guys, so what I got done so far is I went ahead and I got this top part in of the wall in the kitchen. And now what I'm doing is I just got the door half cut off so I can access into this port as a storage spot. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna get the two hinges put in right there and the locking mechanism. Then I'll get some weather stripping all the way around just to make sure it's waterproof. And uh, that'll be it for the door. And then we'll go ahead and get started on the hatch right here. So I've got the door pretty much installed. I had to uh, put the hinges on the outside like this because uh, if I were to put them on the inside like they should go, it would have to swing in and that's pretty much not possible with this door. Uh, because it is like this, uh, it is a little raised up right here. It's kind of messed up, but it still opens and closes fine. Uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna trim off all these uh, poking out screws so that it can uh, go in nice and flush and won't catch on anything. Uh, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys when that's done. Alright guys, so I got the little access port for my uh, new little storage spot put in. You didn't get to see all of it because uh, my camera was on the hood of my truck and the wind blew it over. Unfortunately, it is very windy out right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and make a run to the hardware store. Uh, I'm gonna get a through bolt because this uh, the wood was a little warped and it is sticking out a bit. So I'm gonna get a through bolt that'll, uh, uh, one of those, I forgot what they're called, but they'll flip up, go back, flip down. One of those uh, just to keep it uh, pushed up against the weather stripping so it's a watertight seal. I'm also going to go ahead and pick up those little triangle pieces I was talking about in the last video, some more weather stripping, and uh, maybe a few other things, and I'll be on my way back to get the hatch finished up, and then we're done with the kitchen and ready for paint. So I just got back from the hardware store, got the few things I needed to continue. I've got about an hour before I got to call it quits for today, so my goal is to go ahead and actually get well, for sure I'm going to get this piece taken care of, that little through bolt that I was talking about. But I do want to get the hatch and the weather stripping for the hatch taken care of. I might not actually get the plywood for the sides and the top done yet, or the locking me mechanism, but I would like for it to be ready for paint soon. Uh, this sat so far back that the uh, actual bolt that goes through here wouldn't go through the uh, this part. So now there is a nice tight seal all the way across with the weather strip. You can kind of see it right here. Nice and tight. It's got a good, uh, should be good, water, good and waterproof. So next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and get the hatch up here taken care of and the weather stripping on that. Unfortunately, due to a time constraint, I was not able to finish the hatch on the kitchen door. Uh, what I was able to do is I was able to get the plywood on the top portion of the kitchen taken care of. That's going to help me out in the next video when we do end up finishing the kitchen. 
Uh, I also ran out of time and was not able to film an outro, so I did want you guys to remember to build what you dream.